Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Look MRI, and this is a 15-year-old female who has a mass in her right face. We did an MRI to look at that a little bit better before they did surgery, and on this side view where we can see the face here in the front, here's a nose, lips, chin. We also see something that we didn't expect, which is the cerebellum back here. It has what we call tonsillar ectopia, the cerebellar tonsil, which is here, goes down too low through the frame and magnum, and the frame and magnum is the, the junction between the brain the intracranial contents and the spinal canal. So there's an area right here, and the cerebellar tonsils, the very bottom of them here, should not go down too far below this line, and hers go down too far, and the um, finding also produces mass effect on this. This is the brain stem. These are the pons, looks like an egg, the medulla, and these are pushed forwards and flattened a little bit because the cerebellum is abnormal in position, pushing forward and going downward. So this is what we call a Chiari malformation that we just found incidentally. Now we're going to go on to the face, and on the face we do see there is a sharply defined abnormality here in the right face. This is the soft tissue mass they feel clinically. When we do axial images like this, we can see the nose here. Here's the right eye, left eye. We're going to go down into the right cheek. This area here, and this is where there's some soft tissue fullness, asymmetry. And here we see there is a mass right here with well-defined margins. It looks similar to fat, which is subcutaneous fat here is bright. It has some brightness here. But we don't know for sure if this is just proteinaceous material that's bright on this T1-weighted image or if it's fat. So we need to do a fat spread sequence or another one called a stir to see if it is fat or fluid. This is another view called a T2-weighted sequence. And fat is also pretty bright on the T2-weighted sequence. We see it here. There's some darkness in the back of it, some intermediate signal and darkness here. So it has some areas that are bright and then more intermediate signal. So it's mixed. It does have sharply defined margins. This is a view where we can see the right and left eyes. Here's the nose area. Here is the lesion right there. Really sharply defined margins, some sort of mixed signal intensity within it. Another sequence showing the same thing here. And finally, this sequence. This has got a stir sequence, so fat is now dark. So we see that these areas that were bright before are pretty dark, so this means that they are collections of fat. And in a young person like this, when we see lesion with really well-defined margins, it has some fatty components and some solid components, or even fluid components. This is typical for a dermoid, which is a benign tumor. They're often seen down in the pelvis associated with the ovaries, but they can also be in the neck, sometimes around the orbits or face. But this is a, an example of an, a dermoid in the right cheek area here causing the palpal abnormality. Thank you very much.